Right, so question 10A. Arabella has been offered a contract with a local retailer to provide 500 small beanbag chairs. The retailer will pay only £12 uh, for a small beanbag. It's just worth making a note of these as we run through this information. So this is £12 for a uh, small beanbag. Uh, Arabella has estimated that it would take 30 minutes to produce each beanbag chair. She plans to employ a less experienced uh, member of staff who she would pay at a lower rate of just £8.50 per hour. Okay, Now it's still going to take that member of staff um, half an hour to make it, so we've got £8.50. We can divide that by two because I'm using the uh, wages variable cost here, but as we've seen in the mark scheme uh, already that it gives you credit if you want to use that as a fixed cost. Uh, okay, so uh, the actual wage per bag, okay, as a variable cost is therefore £4.25. Okay, so let's just make a note of that. Uh, she would also have the following variable costs for the small bean bag. Okay, so we got our um, selling price, the material, uh, which is two twenty-five, and uh, we've got the filling, okay, which is uh, three pounds. So let's just run through those. So we got four pound twenty-five plus uh, two pound twenty-five plus that three pounds. Okay, so that gives us nine pound fifty. Uh, okay, um, now that's not my answer. I don't mean to put that there. That's uh, my error, of course. So what we've got to do now is we've got to work out uh, the price minus the variable cost to give us the unit contribution. Uh, but it says and asks for specifically the total contribution, of course. So the total contribution we need to multiply by the quantity. So as we do 12 minus 9.5, that inevitably gives us £2.50. So we've therefore got £2.50 multiplied by the quantity uh, that she was hoping to sell. And that quantity was, what, 500 there. So therefore we can see 500 times 2.5 equals 1,250. So that is uh, the answer there, okay? Uh, great stuff, let's move it along.